Hey, I'm Andre Dury, number 32, former Toronto Argonaut player, and uh, you're here with uh, In The Loop Media. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to a special edition of In The Loop Me Media. As you can see, um, our Toronto Argos are in the Grey Cup with, of course, one of my favorite players, Ricky Ray, and ev everyone else on my team and I'm sure they're going to do good and bring home what belongs in Toronto which is another championship Mr. Number 32 Andre Jury of course um, he's known to many as probably you know an icon in sports considering the fact that he led them to the Grey Cup championship so what was it like um, knowing that you were just seconds away from winning the Grey Cup, I mean the atmosphere, like what was it like? Uh, it was pretty awesome, so that, that Grey Cup was actually pretty special because it was the 100th Grey Cup, so that only comes around once in a lifetime, so it was a big time for, for Canadian football and it was a big time for Toronto and Canada. So we had almost 60,000 60, people all packed in the Rogers Center. And if you if you ever seen the place packed like that, you probably think of like the Blue Jays World Series. So it was it was pretty intense, and uh, it was packed with friends, family, um, people that I've gone to school with. Like just a lot of a lot of love and connection in that atmosphere, and it was it was amazing. Once uh, the final whistle was blown. And uh, they announced us the champions. Uh, we hoisted the cup uh, with all those people that uh, I just spoke with. It was just a great time to, to, to be in Canada to be Canadian. Are there any like messages or advice you would give to someone if they came up to you and asked you how they can approach it and what it does it take to be a great football player like yourself? Uh, of course, and it's a little bit cliche, but uh, never give up. And it's honestly probably the most static thing that you see in, in every player is that uh, they haven't given up. Uh, no matter what kind of um, obstacles they've gone through, no matter what kind of injuries they've gone through, no matter how many people have told them they shouldn't be there or they'll never make it, they've always never gave up and believed in themselves. And uh, for, for each guy, then each individual, they, they, they have that belief in themselves and uh, put that support system, that belief in, in, uh, in, in others and, and take that belief from others to continue to uh, uh, strive for what they, they want to play. That's uh, the game of football. I'm glad as a person that I was able to come out here and do this interview because I've only seen two Argos games so it's nice to know that there's someone who knows about the game who knows what it takes so uh, I would just like to say thank you for your valuable time no problem buddy thank you for having me and uh, you gotta go to more than two football games now you gotta keep going every year alright Yes, and because you you said that, I'll try my very best to go to more than two Argos games. <laughs> Here you get a little Argo pose, a little, little Heisman pose like this. Argos! Yeah, I'm here with Andre, last name. Uh, my last, yes, his last name is Jury. He's running around. Yo, he's in a hurry. Yo, he ain't a mouse. No, he ain't in a scurry. He's got his going left. He's gonna bury. Yes, you have no stress because the Argos are gonna be put to the test. Test. Yes, do not mess, Rough Riders. Get back just like the rest. We're gonna take the title. And if you hate us, can sing Gold American Idol. Yeah. We're always on Toronto because you know we're going to bring the Great Cup back to Toronto with the Argos, the Argos. Yeah! Good job, yeah, buddy. Good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and
Cut. <laughs> <laughs> there is a special appearance by Alex. <laughs>